Hey YouTubers, TJ here. What you see here is a manifold from a Fisher Instact pump. I don't know what year it's from. I had one laying around. And um, what I want to do is make this Instact manifold setup act as just a controller for, for my plow. I'm going to eliminate the factory Fisher pump and the motor. So what I did is I machined a plate. Um, I'll get to my what pump I'm going to use in a minute. So I machined a plate that is going to bolt to the Fisher manifold for the in and outs as well. I machined for O-rings on the back side. And then this side here, flip around. This side here is, this is the end to the pump, this is the return. The end to the pump is machined for 3 8 MPT. Return is quarter inch. I couldn't go any bigger because it would interfere with this, this bolt hold down hole here. So it basically goes like this. This will be mounted just as a normal Instac would out on the, the, the A-frame, the uprights of the plow. And then these two lines that I'm going to be using would go to a, another block that's probably in the radiator grill area. You know, the return back to a tank, which I'm going to make for my pump setup. Um, the fitting possibilities, again, are endless. However, I figure out how my hoses are going to be. I'll use those fittings there, whichever one will work. Those two will work. Um, I just have to machine a little bit better for that O-ring right here. I have to get it shifted over a little bit. It's not a big deal. Um, it was kind of a pain in the ass to make, but it's done. Um, this is the pump I'm going to be using. Sorry for the camera movement. It's a Muncie pump. It's quite large compared to the Fisher pump here. The Muncie pump puts out three gallons a minute at a thousand RPMs. It's a clutch style pump. I have the clutch set up, but it's for a V belt. What I want to do is incorporate this pump set up into my F250 Super Duty. Uh, I want to get the serpentine. Uh, set up for it so I can incorporate to the factory serpentine belt system. I have to build a bracket for it and everything. Uh, in comparison, I have a Fenner pump on my plow right now, and I did put a 3.2 cc bigger gear pump in it compared to a 1.2 cc that came stock. It is a lot faster, uh, it does draw more power because you're compressing more fluid. Uh, however, it doesn't lift my diamond quite fast enough as I, I want it to be. I want it to be really fast. Fisher Instacts are pretty fast, but um, they just don't have... The, I tried it on my plow, and it still doesn't lift the, lift the heavy diamond. So if you look at the gears in here, they're quite small. There's a formula to calculate what you have for, for output. But these Fisher Instax put out about uh, probably 1.2 gallons per minute at 2,000 RPMs because these motors, the electric motors, spin about 2,000 RPMs. My Fenner puts out about 1.7 gallons per minute at, again, 2,000 RPMs. So I'm going to be making a bracket for this setup. Uh, I, I took this apart. It needs a front seal. Not a big deal. I got it on eBay for like a hundred bucks. Um, it's just the bracketry is going to be a little crazy, but I'll get to that probably in the springtime. But I got the the major component out of the way, which was my um, valve block plate here, which was took me quite a while to make. I'm quite happy how it came out. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and you could visit my homepage at www.tjsperformance.com. Thanks for watching.